Hey Libra, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for January 26th through January 31st. All right, so I'm in a big chakra mood this week. Chakras, you know, give us a lot more information in the readings. So, you know, I really like this reading. Um, I hope you do as well. So this is the Chakra Reading Oracle deck. And then I'm using one of my decks, which is the Messages of Chakra Wisdom by Sunny Forest Tarot, which is me. And then I'm also using the Chakra Tarot deck, okay? This is one of my favorite decks, I, I you know, I just, I love beautiful images. There's so many beautiful images in this particular deck. So this is gonna be a very colorful reading. So this card represents your energy. This card represents the energy between the two of you. And this card represents the energy of your person. This card represents fears. Could be yours, could be theirs, could be mutual fears that you share. This is the biggest challenge right now, and this represents what is next. All right? All right, we're all set. Let's start with the energy between the two of you right now. Wow. Princess of Cups. So you can see that this is a very green card, which is the heart chakra. So this is the energy of love. I feel like this is somebody here, well, both of you, wishes that there, that we could forgive and forgive and forget. Okay. This is the energy of, you know, I want to, I want to reach out. I desperately want to reach out and I'm in a loving place but will I do it okay it's like will I give myself permission to reach out and be loving because that's what I want to do this is how you're both feeling what card what does this card say here all right so we've got divine wisdom you can see this card is orange, all right? So this is the sacral chakra. You know, this is the, you know, emotional energy, the sexual energy, the desire. This card is about desire. And you can see down here it says divine wisdom. It's like you already know what you need to do. Your person already knows what they need to do. This is the energy of desire. You're both desiring each other. You both know what you need to do. Let's see what your energy is. King of coins, king of pentacles. Yeah, you absolutely have a knowing, okay? That's the crown chakra, purple. You have a knowing, divine wisdom, right? Um, you know that you want, that you could give more to this. You know that you could be very happy within this connection. You know that you want to be more generous than you are right now. What energy is this person in? Nine of Wands. So this person is, we've got the orange, okay, sacral chakra. They're in the, the energy of desire, but they're very, very cautious, okay? They're very cautious, you know, it's like very cautious about reaching out. You have a knowing that you want to give to this. This person is a little bit more leery. Let's see what you have up here. I 
I love what you say and how you say it. Okay, so this is what you might say to your person. So at some point, your person, you know, has been loving towards you. You like how they speak to you or have spoken to you. And I feel like you love their voice as well. This is green. So this is coming from a place of I love. You're in a very loving energy and you know you want to give to this more than you are right now. What does this person have here? All right. So we've got the root chakra, the red here. This person is saying, I have freedom from attachment. Okay. So you might think, oh, well, that's not good. But it is good. Because freedom from attachment means, you know, they're, they're not attached to a particular outcome here. They're cautious. They're cautious with their feelings. They're cautious with their desires, you know, um, but they're not attached to a particular outcome. So they're much more likely to be listening to divine wisdom here. They're open to listening to the collective divine wisdom that is with is around both of you if you choose to listen to it. So what are the fears here? Ten of Swords. So it's like, if I reach out, will this person talk to me? Will you talk to this person? I feel like it's more likely that you would talk to this person than, you know, than they would talk to you because they have more of a cautious energy here. So I feel like the fear is heavy, heavier on their side. So you can see the yellow. This is the solar plexus chakra, which is, you know, fight or flight. So this person might be more in the energy of fleeing or flight. You might be in the energy more so of fighting for this. But the fear is betrayal. You know, and I feel like it's not a betrayal where, you know, somebody is going towards another person. It's a betrayal of the heart. It would be very heartbreaking for somebody not to respond to the other. And I feel like that's the fear here. The biggest challenge in this connection, we have the hanged woman, which is the hangman, okay? So this is the third eye chakra energy. So it's like the challenge here is do we make this real or do we stay hung up? Do we make this real or do we keep it hidden? That's really speaking to the, the shared energy here about do I reach out? Do I reach out and say something? Do I reach out and express something, give something to the other person? We have a fear of being rejected or being uh, betrayed, a betrayal of the heart. This person is definitely more likely to flee. What's next? The star. Aquarius. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. You might be dealing with a Taurus. The star is about your heart's desire. This is a, coming from a place of love. So it's like, how do we get here from here? This tells me that somebody is likely to speak up. And based on, you know, what we're seeing here, it could be either either of you, but I feel like the energy is more likely that it's you that reaches out. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify you. 
Let's clarify the energy between the two of you. Let's clarify them. And let's clarify this outcome. All right, so for you, King of Pentacles, Death, Card of Scorpio. So you have a knowing, okay? Not only do you know that you want to give to this, okay? You know that something here needs to transform. You know, and it could be carrying this energy of fear of betrayal. It could be listening to divine wisdom and your desires here. And you, you know that you can be happy in this connection. Let's look for them. Nine of Wands clarified by Four of Pentacles. So this person, again, Four, four of Pentacles is the energy of holding back. The green is the heart chakra. So what is this person holding back? Love. Because they're cautious in their desires towards you. Princess of Cups, Emperor, Card of Aries. You might be dealing with an Aries, you might be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aquarius, but you know, you could be dealing with anybody. The energy between you, you know, what is preventing the, both of you from reaching out is this energy of who has control? Do I give up control? You know, do, do I give myself permission to, to reach out in the energy of love? Do I listen to my intuition and div divine wisdom here? and reach out and give up control? Or, you know, do I stay in this challenging energy of being hung up? Do I stay in this energy of fear? Fear of having my heart betrayed? Let's see, star, clarified by Princess of Coins, Page of Pentacles. So, you know, as far as what's next here, <clears throat> if you can come from a place of love or if this person can come from a place of love, okay, which is the green again, it's like, do I focus on the opportunity of having my heart's desire and letting love win? Or do I focus on the limitation of not giving that pinnacle, not sharing the love, and not having my heart's desire. I feel like it's up in the air, but I'm going to pull one more. Two of Cups. So there it is. I feel like somebody here is going to risk their heart in spite of the fact that they're afraid because this two of cups is here which is telling us that this is a mutual connection where both of you share the feelings the same feelings but both of you are trying to be the one that's in control Instead of listening to this divine wisdom, which I feel like you definitely have, I'm not sure if this person is listening to it or not. The orange is about desire and emotions. There's a lot of desire and emotions here, and there's a lot of love. Those are the two primary colors here, green and orange. So it's like this connection has a lot of desire and a lot of love. But there's a lot of, you know, it feels like this energy here is hanging the two of you up unnecessarily. Okay? Let's just clarify the this uh, freedom from attachment card from your person. 
Four of Wands. If this person was attached in the in the past, okay, I don't feel like they are anymore. Suddenly this card takes on new meaning with Four of Wands, which can be a marriage card or a long-term connection card. So I feel like this person is no longer attached to somebody else if that was an issue for you. Um, if you guys are in a twin type of situation, you know, this person might have freed themselves from attachment and transformed and that's a good energy to be in. Either way, it's a good energy. All right? All right, Libra, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can certainly reach out to me, okay, for a personal reading. Um, if not, no problem. I've been promising additional readings for the last couple of weeks, and, you know, I've run into some snags. But this week, I will be able to start my single series um, on Wednesdays. Um, on Thursdays, we'll be doing um, Soul Connections in Challenge, all right? And please, if you're in a healthy, happy relationship, stop watching tarot. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like if you're in that energy, why look for problems or why stop? get yourself thinking in any way other than being in a happy, contented relationship, okay? Um, I don't feel like I say that enough. Uh, so, and then on Fridays, we'll be doing um, marriages. So if, you know, you are in a marriage or your person is in a marriage or you're both in a marriage, that could be the reading for you. You might find that you know, one or more of those readings helps you. But uh, yes, I will be doing those this week. And I'm sorry that um, I wasn't able to do that the last couple weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic week. All right. Bye.